Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 16th, 2019. Well, yesterday was really a nice bullish day. We had a solid kickoff to earnings season. We had um, two companies that really inspired the market dramatically, and that would be JP Morgan. JP Morgan had a good earnings report kicking off and moving up nicely here um, ended up pulling back by the end of the day kind of running into this resistance right in here and I'm seeing that on a lot of charts we just slammed into resistance and caught a pullback so let's wait and see how that's going to um, how that's going to uh, play out overall and then UNH UNH just a huge move yesterday um, skyrocketing up here and also moving up into some significant levels of resistance in the chart so i'd be a little bit careful of that this still is in an overall downtrend but having uh, having said that we had a nice move up yesterday we're currently holding up in this little upward trend right in here but we still have this overall problem of this downtrend we can't seem to quite get through that and still dealing with that resistance now we were up at one point three hundred and 13 points I think it was in the Dow ended up closing up 216 points and just kind of struggling here um, a little bit um, at the close we saw some sellers coming in a little bit of concern and that is also um, coming into light this morning now the futures have gradually moved up throughout the morning the futures were negative pretty much all night last night and just kind of gradually uh, moving up this morning we're looking right now at just a little modestly lower open this morning even though we've had really good earnings out of BAC already this morning popping up nicely here we're still showing just a little bit of caution in the market now one of the reasons that might be is we yesterday we had news of a preliminary brexit deal uh, looking like it was going, going to happen and now this morning it would appear according to news reports that that has stalled and there are certainly a lot of issues surrounding that that have some effect on the market really for the u.s big big things might be currency fluctuations things like that we really don't know what the full ramifications of that might be but um, as they approach that deadline we're kind of running into a critical time frame here on brexit so once again it's those political um, uh, uncertainties that are, that are really making it difficult for this market to find its footing uh, both bullish or bearishly we just kind of whip around an awful lot of course we're still trying to figure out what phase one means for a trade deal and whether or not that's going to come together after china uh, made some news yesterday suggesting that they're going to require a removal of tariffs before they buy any uh, farm products um, uh, there's a lot of things that could spin out around that but right now the market is mostly focused in on earnings reports and we're holding up good now technically we're in really good shape here on the chart even though we have this downtrend in play and we're still struggling up here with this downtrend we are above our 50-day moving average and what's nice is our 50-day moving average is starting to turn back up providing that little bit of support we have been in this decline for quite some time a little concerning now starting to turn up a little bit so if the bulls can the bulls can continue to hold up in here continue to challenge these price resistance levels that we just man we hit those yesterday and stopped on a dime but we ran ran into those price resistance levels we were going to have to maybe uh, see a little bit more production and earnings to maybe pop through there we may have to consolidate this move just a little bit and we cannot rule out the possibility that we could pull back 
as we try to figure out some of the details here with all the uncertainty. So keep an eye on that. Just struggling right there at those resistance levels. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY is doing very much the same thing. SPY kind of stuck into a situation where we can't quite push right on up through here and as you can see we have this double top high up here and we're still struggling in this um, bit of a downtrending situation we saw a little bit of selling coming in at the end of the day yesterday and once again we are looking for um, just a slightly lower open at least at, at this moment in the spy as we had um, into this morning session with quite a few earnings reports going on and um, a big retail sales number right after or at 8 30 a.m this morning so we got a lot for the market to watch but keep in mind we're we're testing these resistance levels price resistance levels in the chart and they've proven to be really tough in the past we should probably expect them to remain tough until we see some really good numbers um, in um, earnings or retail sales this morning to maybe lift us up out of there. If we happen to show a little bit of failure, don't be too surprised with that. Any rest or consolidation in here can still remain very bullish in the chart. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues moving on up here. A uh, very strong move yesterday in the queues. We had an upgrade in NVIDIA yesterday, a strong upgrade in NVIDIA. Um, that right way options, we, we made a nice profit on this trade in, in that move today. And you can see holding up here this morning as well. So NVIDIA looking good. And also that helped to fuel um, Apple higher. Oops. There we go. Um, helped to fuel Apple and hold that really well. We saw good moves in um, Intel yesterday. So lots of uh, positive feelings coming into that. Now today it's going to be interesting how we um, continue to handle this. This afternoon we have our first really big tech um reports from IBM IBM reporting this more uh, this afternoon and Netflix this afternoon it will be interesting to see how both of these come out obviously Netflix um, under some tremendous pressure here they will be definitely uh, heavily focused on um, how they um, how they report today so we'll want to watch that closely um, so in that cues we're up here to, we're dealing with these price resistance levels in the chart and uh, testing them tempting them seeing whether or not the bulls have enough energy to push through there this morning once again just a slight little um, resting here in the futures market, not giving us uh, great indications whether we're going to move on higher, if we're going to pull back, if we're going to go sideways. We really don't know here, but we'll have to watch this close. One thing I got to I got to just say, the bulls have this in control, at least at the moment. So unless we see some bad news or something that comes out that reverses us back down, I really wouldn't even be worried, too worried here in the cues until we slip into this gap if we were to pull back and slip into that gap then we could have some real worry but uh, bulls seem to be holding on quite well here this morning and doing a very good job um, iwm even iwm happened to make it up through its 50-day moving average but let's be honest here there's nothing about IWM that is good looking. There's nothing sexy about this chart, at least at the moment. Um, we're building um, a nice little support level off of this area right in here, but we need to start breaking to some higher highs and holding some higher lows in IWM to get it to participate with the rest of the market. So far, no one seems to uh, love IWM, and uh, we just continue to, to um, languish down here in this uh, no man's land here on IWM. Hopefully that will begin to change soon. Let's watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. 
The VIX, I got to tell you, is really kind of fascinating to me um, right now. The VIX, just uh, there just appears to be no fear in the market whatsoever. Honestly, I, I, I struggle with understanding that. With all the uncertainties out there, there's just no fear in the market. And that makes me worry about complacency. And complacency can happen when we, when we just have no fear, and all of a sudden that fearful event occurs and we spike in fear we've we've done that many times in the past hopefully that's not the case that's going on here hopefully i'm just being you know overly worrisome about these events but it seems odd to me that we have virtually no fear with all the uncertainty that we see here in the market dropping into a 13 handle pretty impressive um, in that move and you can see when we were pushing all-time highs of the market down in this level we're approaching that now again and um, just no real concerns here so I would watch that pretty closely if we continue to uh, drift lower um, hey more power to the bulls right um, let's take a look at t21 22 that four week new high new low ratio t2122 we're in pretty good shape here it doesn't really give us any indication of market direction but we're in good shape here we're kind of hovering in this mid zone on t2122 suggesting that we still have upside opportunity and we have a rather substantial downside opportunity for the market to move in but i'm not seeing major bearishness anywhere in the market and with fear being so low i've got to give this one to the bulls that i think they have the best chance of moving us on higher here in the market but we'll see as earnings and retail sales that could really change everything this morning as those numbers roll out so keep an eye on that and stay pretty focused on the price action of the chart um, and try not to predict the market direction. We're going to have to remain uh, uh, a bit flexible in this market with the uncertainties that are still spinning out there. So with that, let's take a look at um, some of the things on the economic calendar that could be moving us around today. And you can see we have that retail sales number coming out here at 8.30 a.m. this morning. We had mortgage applications that were really good this morning, housing uh, numbers starting, uh, sales starting to decline just a little bit, but mortgage numbers were good. But that retail sales is where the the real push is going to be today. Can we produce? Right now, consensus is suggesting a slight decrease in retail sales, and I doubt that's going to hurt us at all if that does occur. It would be if we get that surprise lower uh, move that would give us a problem or that surprise higher move that could really help energize this market. So we'll want to watch that pretty close. Keep in mind, we have a parade of Fed speakers again uh, today we have business inventories at 10 housing market index base book and treasury capital now i don't expect much of these to move the market at all today it's really all going to be focused in earnings and that retail sales report um, in my opinion uh, this morning so we we'll want to watch that early morning move um, that earnings um, calendar is pretty darn full this morning we've got a lot of earnings rolling in um, i've seen that we have have uh, BK reporting this morning. It looks like they have reported well, still in a downtrend overall, um, which is concerning. PNC, PNC reporting well. Looks like it's trying to break all time highs here. Well, not all time highs, sorry. Break recent highs here in the market. Trying to move on up. So good move there. PA, PAC West reporting this morning um doesn't look like they have reported just yet or if they are uh, I, I think we're still waiting on this report um how about u.s Bancorp? looks like they have reported well moving up this morning um gapping higher so we've got a few um good reports starting to help uh the market that's holding things up right now the um 
futures, Dow futures are only down 47 points. So we've gradually improved that over the morning as we head into the open. Um, I think we're waiting on that retail sales number uh, before we really decide whether we're going to be bullish or bearish. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look. Had some stocks that could be setting up but just before we do that if you guys would do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos could you please click that subscribe button on youtube click the follow me button on facebook if you happen to be watching it there and make sure you click that bell icon that pop-up uh, bell icon on youtube so that you can be notified every time i post one of these videos hey guys the purpose of these videos are not to predict anything they're not to um, provide a whole bunch of hype and 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 all kinds of things that we, you might see other places but just to really take a solid look at the technicals see what we have to face here in the market and if you find that helpful please do me a favor as well and click that thumbs up button and leave a, a comment that helps um, helps a ton in these uh, uh, YouTube algorithms showing the videos to more folks and I just really want to say thank you to those who do take the time to do that now I'm running behind today, so let's jump right in and let's take a look at a few stocks that are looking pretty darn good and things that we're going to want to pay attention to um, in the market um, on these stocks. One I want to point out is a trade that I currently hold, and I uh, this is something that um, has happened for a long, long time. When we look at Microsoft, Microsoft has a tendency to rally up toward its earnings. Now I'm trading this and I've been in this trade for just a little while. And as a matter of fact, um, it's just barely uh, positive for me as a trade right now. But looking at this as a weekly uh, chart, you can see we've had this really nice consolidation. It's lasted over several months and we're now just starting to get that bullish move up here. If we can get any kind of that warm and fuzzy feeling in some of these tech reports, we may see Microsoft roll up. So if you're interested in maybe taking on an early earnings report, and that's how I trade earnings, I like to trade earnings in the anticipation of the report and then be out of the way for the actual report rather than gambling about what might happen. That's a complete unknown. So you might want to take a look at Microsoft um, if you think there's that opportunity that that could gradually move up toward earnings. I've seen it before. We've traded it before. It made a lot of money doing that in the past, trading that price action in Microsoft. So kind of keep that in mind. I will be out of that trade prior to um, prior to earnings. Let's take a look at Costco. Costco looks to me like it is um, setting up for an upside move. Um, earnings don't come until December 12th and you can see we've moved up nicely putting in a nice little consolidation here, nice little tight consolidation, little doji patterns bouncing around as we deal with this resistance level here in the chart. All we need is that little bit of boost a little bit of bump to maybe move us on higher now we may have to wait for a little while on this because our current trend is out here and that would suggest this could consolidate or even pull back all the way into this trend but i want to watch costco it's it's held up really really well and um, looking like an opportunity to maybe go higher so keep an eye on that it could pop and go at any time take a look at this okta okta has been in this nice little consolidation right underneath its 50-day moving average been banging its head against that trying to move up now there is price resistance in this chart up here that we have to pay attention to but if okta can find a little love and pop through there there may be some opportunity for upside in that chart take a look at um, stx now stx is a trade that i entered yesterday have a nice little profit going on this trade um, already but stx is one of those charts that i kind of watch for where we break that downtrend we moved above this little resistance and we had a couple little days of rest right up here those little doji candles where we rested and then those buyers stepped up in here pushing this higher now obviously we still have resistance up here to be considering uh, considering in this chart but this bullishness could move us 
us up as we head into our earnings and looking for a little bit more upside move in this. I'm not looking for a great breakout move or anything like that. Just looking to bag some profits on this trade and it's holding up pretty well. Another one might be SQ that you might be interested in. SQ has been in this ugly, ugly downtrend. Finally, we finish out this bottom, break its downtrend, rally up, hold some support, break above its 50 day moving average and hold and then we see this nice bullish move coming into play yesterday on SQ. You might want to keep an eye on this for that opportunity for this to maybe move on higher. Looking really good. Of course, we have um, the trades like Lennar. Lennar um, those housing um, builders just really, really strong, strong, strong uptrend, continuing to look good, fired up yesterday. I talked about this one um, yesterday, but it fired up nicely, popping up through, looking very, very good. Also have quite a few things in retail um, that did well yesterday, like Home Depot. Home Depot now breaking through this resistance and trying to consolidate that move up here, trying to show some bullishness up in here and that opportunity that this could move on higher might want to keep an eye on that and and that that's running through a lot of different retail stocks right now so you'll want to keep an eye on those so with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and once again if this is the first time please click that subscribe button and i'll um, see you all right back here bright and early thursday morning take care everyone have a great day